Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know who it is. It's JJ back at it like an addict. No rehab because, you know, addicted to giving you guys all this advice and information you're going to need to get that car that your dreams open. And, you know, to give you guys overall car buying advice and stuff like that that may help you guys out. Uh, this is going to be some car buying advice, mainly for the consumers. Uh, I know a lot of your dealers probably be like, oh, man, why is he telling people that and stuff like that. So, you know, it might be some dislikes on this video but for the from the dealers, but hey, you know, this is just for uh, car buying advice, especially mainly for people with like bad credit. I mean, also it'll help you guys with good credit too, but it's mainly for people whose credit is not the best and got some shaky credit. Um, man, I'm gonna let you guys know this: good and bad credit. You know, you can negotiate. I mean, you can always negotiate on the car, whatever car you're going to buy. No matter if you're paying for cash. I mean, there's always some room for negotiation. I mean, if the person set their price on the cash, then, hey, you know, that it is what it is. But, I mean, when you're financing, a lot of times when you're financing these vehicles, you can negotiate the price of it. You know, get get you a little bit of discount. And, you know, and a lot of a lot of times people will have bad credit so they don't feel like they got the power to negotiate anything. They're just happy that somebody's able to get them approved. But, man, you get, get that mindset knock that mindset out the window man kick that mindset out the window man if you're thinking like that man no no if you're thinking like that no can't can't have you thinking like that just because you have bad credit don't don't get a don't just give you the right that where you can't negotiate and where you're just going to a dealership and get screwed over man like i'm tired of seeing people getting screwed over on these cars and stuff like that you know people going to these uh not not just saying it's here i'm pretty sure it happens in all these states you know people going to buy here, pay here, getting charged three, four times what the car worth plus a 21 plus whatever max interest rate, you know. And then, you know, a lot of times these people driving these buy here cars and the buy here, pay here is not reporting to the credit bureau. Bureau, They're only reporting if you get a car back. And that's the thing too, like if, if you want, if, I mean, if your credit is bad, it, you know, I mean, at least go to a bar here, pay here that's going to at least report to the credit bureau. Don't go to one that's just only going to report to the credit bureau if you get a car back. And right here, a little information like just be like a lot of times people think just because you're giving a car back, um, you're you're not obligated or that's not going to go on your credit. A lot of times these bar here, pay here's um, you, when you sign the contract, they're only going to report if you repo the car. Like if the car get repo, they're not going to. They're going not going to report. You know, if you're making your payments consistently and stuff like that. You know, so but if you do, and what I suggest, like if your credit's not the best and you are looking to buy a car, for one, I will go look for an inexpensive car, and two, I will go to uh, if you do have to go, end up going to a buy here pay here, I would end up going. I will go to a buy here pay here that will release re, uh, release report the payment that you're making because a lot of time you know y'all got uh, you guys with buy, bad credit not saying all but some go to these dealerships three get charged three four times what the car is worth and then you're not getting any credit then the car breaks down and now you want to get the car back and you know just because you give the car back i mean it's not cleared off your credit i mean this just counts as a voluntary repossession so you know you're going to get you're going to get that car it's still going to be a repo on your credit from this dealership and then they can garnish your check and now you're going to be getting your check garnished for a car that you know broke down on you might have broke down the same day might have broke down two days later but you know it's a used car you bought it as is the dealership that you bought it for didn't want to don't want to fix anything and now you just screwed now your checks are getting garnished on the car and it's just all bad you don't want that to keep happening to people man i don't i really don't i mean because that's not good for nobody uh i mean that's just not good for anybody because you know getting screwed over like that i mean it happens you, it happens every day it's going to continue to happen but hopefully this video uh can stop it from happening as, as often as possible uh like i said if you got bad credit man take a get a smaller loan or go buy a car cash and do some things to repair your credit but i know a lot of times you know uh, people have bad credits for all type of different situations. You know, it can be because of medical bill, it can be because of student loans, a divorce, and et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of times people have bad credit and it's not their choice. I mean, so and, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, some you know sometimes, like I said, with the medical pill, people get sick and you know, or student loans or you know divorce happens. So I mean, it's some of these things you can't you have no control over, but you do have but you do have control over the car you buy 
and you know being able to make your credit better from that point on so don't get screwed over if you don't have to I mean even though you got bad credit you still have the room to negotiate and and if a dealership comes out to you with just like a blank piece of paper and just trying to tell you guys about the payments like trying to work you on payments and nothing else like they're not they're they're just focused on trying to get you to the payment that you want to be I, I, my suggestion just get up and walk away I mean be the best thing for you because you know basically they're they're not looking looking at your well-being you know they're just looking to maximize the money out for you I mean I know everybody's in the business of making money but I mean you can make money without screwing people over let me say that again in the car business you can make money without screwing people over and dealerships will make money and they don't have to screw you over but you know it happens every day I mean everybody's not going to be an honest dealer I know I might get some thumbs down on this video but oh well you know I just want to you know make try to do my best to help you know the economy as much as I can uh, so you know I'm a car dealer so you know a uh, uh, car dealers don't want to give you this information but I'm gonna give you guys any any information that I would advise to help you but like I said if you got bad credit you can still negotiate like but I with me if I was if I was to have bad credit I would just save my money up and just buy me a little cash car and then I would work on building fig building some credit and then I would go to a bank or something and take out a small loan for a car you know then pay that small car loan off because a lot of times a bank will give you like small loans especially like you know if you're showing some good payment history even though if you got bad credit and previously you know as long as you're showing some good payment history you know they will try to see you doing better and will try to help you out but you know it happens like that but yeah you know like i said i this didn't want to let this video drag on too long Hopefully this advice helped you out. Like like I said, just because you got bad credit don't mean you can't negotiate on your deal. Even if you got good credit, you can still negotiate on your deal. And like I said, if they just trying to work you know, based on the payments and I would I would I would suggest you walk away, but hey, it's it's, it's your decision at the end of the day, you know. If you've been, because I know a lot of times people with bad credit, they go around and they shop and they shop and they shop and then you just get tired from the day and then this last place is like, oh, I can get you approved. <laughs> This last place be like, oh, I can get you approved, and you just like happy and like, I mean, if they can, I mean, if that's just your situation and you just in dire need of the car, I mean, go go for it. But I wouldn't suggest it. That's just my opinion. But that's all I have for the, this video at the moment. Uh, I will be giving you guys some more car buying tips and advice uh, later on. But I just wanted to drop a little short video. Didn't want it to be too long. But if you haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any support you guys are giving me. Any questions you have, just drop them below. I'll answer as many questions as I can. Message me on Instagram. This is JJ, and I'm out. Appreciate you guys.